Hey, my name is Jeremy, and if you're clicking on this video, you're interested in my journey as a doctoral student online. Um, currently, I'm going through a Doctor of Business Administration program, and I, it's been quite some time since I've done a video, and I hope that gives you a depiction of what it's like to balance working full-time, um, going to school full-time, and being a human being. Uh, life happens, and there are a lot of things that you have to consider before you even get into the program. Um, I need to go back and watch the other videos so I can know where I picked up, but I wanted to at least post this video to uh, re-emphasize a few things. Uh, I'm halfway through my program, and there is not a moment where I'm like, is this worth it? Like, do I really want to keep going? And... You know, my life would be so much easier if I didn't have to read 20 million pages. You know, of course, that's an, uh, an exaggeration. Um, of course, my life would be easier if I didn't have to respond to two people and find articles and uh, scholarly articles for each response. Of course, my life would be easier if I didn't have to find an article in my uh, uh, discussion. So three articles, at least, that I'm reading in addition to the chapters that I'm reading for the week. Like it's a lot, you know, um, but is it worth it? Yes, it's going to be worth it because I can see how my way of thinking and approaching things is changing real time. Sometimes I just have to realize that because I'm being stretched because of work and school and being a human being, that I won't always have the depth that I, ha I would have if I'm done with school and not doing anything else. I hope that makes sense. Um, so what would I reemphasize? Know your why. Why are you getting to the program? Hopefully it's intrinsically motivated. Um, and, you know, if you're extrinsically motivated, then that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. What I recognize with being intrinsically motivated is that it gives me permission to pause, reflect, process the journey that I'm going through and take the things that I'm learning and the journey and appreciate it more. So that way, when I get to the end, walking across the stage, having defended my dissertation or capstone, um, you know, it will be worth it compared to being extrinsically motivated, which is just to have the title of doctor or whatever, right? So knowing your why, and you're gonna have to be motivated because when you look at your assignments and you see you have to read one and two chapters and you have to have articles on top of the chapters that you read, which means that you have to read through the articles and synthesize what you've read with what you've read from a, a book on top of responding to multiple people with articles in your responses with a certain word um, count. Like you're going to need motivation because that can be overwhelming. And when you get overwhelmed, you won't take a step towards what you need to do. Right. So you have to know your why. Your why is going to pull you to do the work after you get off from 10 hours of work. Your motivation or your why is going to pull you um, or help you set boundaries when it comes to dedicating time to things that you don't have to do, right? Going out with friends and this and that. There are sacrifices that you have to make um, during this process. But if you know your why, that why will pull you through it. Make sure that your end goal matches your program, the school that you're in and the content that you're learning. You don't want to go through a program that doesn't match your why and doesn't match your end goal. That I won't say it would be a waste of time, but you could have better use of your time, right? And then when you're going through the assignments, take your time to process what you're reading and like chew it up in your head mentally. So that way it makes sense, not just because you're memorizing it, but because you're processing it, you're synthesizing it, you're applying it to the things that you're doing on a daily basis. So that way the material sticks, right? Um, do your assignments, especially your reading in chunks, get an early start and just give yourself grace, right? Um, I go to the gym and sometimes I just do things that are mind numbing in between my assignments because it's a lot of information that I'm taking in. Um, and if you don't, then you're going to be overwhelmed and you won't be able to think, right? 
So those are some things that I would emphasize. I'll also reiterate from previous videos. There are people who work full time with families and are married that are getting through the program. It seemed to be just fine. So there's that. Um, yeah. So know your why. Um, make sure that your end goal matches your why and you're processing and soaking in the journey. Um, know your your limits in terms of what you can dedicate time to. Um, be prepared to sacrifice. Make sure you give yourself enough space to read and process what you're reading as well as doing your assignment. And um, give yourself grace. Make sure that you protect your mental health. Those are things that I would reemphasize for anyone who's considering um, studying at the doctorate level online. Do I question if this is worth it? Yeah, I'm not going to lie. In the journey, I'm questioning it. But I know because what I'm doing is aligned with my why and my end goal that it will be worth it. I won't see it right right now. But when I'm in a conference room talking with people and I can use my full capacity to focus on work and not work and school, I know that the breadth and the depth of conversations that I'll be able to have based on research and based on my rigorous approach that I learned at the doctorate level, it will make me stick out in a way that people would want to invite me to conversations. Not because I know everything, because nobody knows anything, everything, right? Um, but because of the muscle of resilience in learning and researching and being uh, capable of stretching yourself, right? But um, yeah, it's gonna be worth it. Sometimes I'm like, ooh, I don't wanna do this anymore. Sometimes I'm like, I don't wanna read, I don't wanna look at another paper, I don't wanna look at another article. Um, but I, that why keeps me motivated, you know? And just within my family and friend circle, the more that I push from a healthy place, right? the more people see that it's possible and they can do it. So there's a little bit of altruism in there as well. I hope that you take away something from this video that helps you make a better decision on if studying at the doctorate level is for you. Um, and, you know, if it's not for you right now, then it's okay to come back to it, right? It's never too late. So hope this video helps you. Have a great day.